Welcome to Wellness Wednesdays, where I teach you how to live a healthier lifestyle. I'm Dr. Julio, and today I want to help you select the proper sunscreen. With the summer months ahead, it's important we protect ourselves and our family members against the harmful rays of the sun. Sun damage has been reported to cause accelerated skin aging. In addition, sunspots, melasma, and skin cancer are also the result of damage from UV radiation. This is why regular use of sunscreen is critically important. Sunblock, as it is commonly known, is actually a misnomer and now a word regulated by the FDA. The correct term is sunscreen because no product truly blocks the sun's damaging UV rays. The designation of SPF, sun protection factor, is actually misleading with little difference between SPF 15 and 25 each filtering 93 and 96 percent of UVB rays respectively. SPF applies only to UVB rays which cause sunburn. However, UVA rays can damage skin too, causing collagen and elastin breakdown. Both UVA and UVB rays cause skin cancer. An easy way to remember is that UVA causes aging, UVB causes burning. The best sunscreens are labeled broad spectrum, which indicates protection against UVA and UVB rays with an SPF of 15 or higher. However, I would recommend an SPF no less than 30. Another misnomer on sunscreens is waterproof. No sunscreen is truly waterproof. Rather, many are water resistant up to a certain amount of time in the water. Be careful with the misleading ads or claims on sunscreens. The general rule is to know what you're buying and apply liberally and often. The truth is that most sunscreen studies done to measure SPF were used on subject to apply to liberal amount. Most people don't apply enough sunscreen and usually don't reapply. Sunscreen must be applied every 90 minutes to offer the protection stated on the bottle. When selecting a sunscreen, get more bang for your buck by selecting a sunscreen with UVA and UVB protection and also containing antioxidants like vitamin A which can offer the additional benefit of hastening the development of skin damage and tumors and fighting free radicals. Products containing zinc have the added benefit of being anti-inflammatory which can be beneficial for those who experience breakouts using sunscreens. My best advice to use year-round is regular use of broad spectrum, water resistant, SPF 30 or higher sunscreen. In addition, I like to wear protective clothing like hats, glasses, and long sleeve shirts or pants for added protection. To all the well doers who need more information on sunscreens, please email me or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Until next week, I'm Dr. Julio, and remember to turn your illness to wellness.